गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम भगश्री पटेल वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई हार्टली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ आर एन जी आर एन जी पी आई टी फैमिली ऑन दी वेबिनार सीरीज डियर स्टूडेंट्स ड्यूरिंग दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड आर एन जी पी आई टी हैज ऑर्गेनाइज अ सीरीज ऑफ वेबिनार फॉर द गाइडेंस एंड बेटरमेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट स्टूडेंट कैन लर्न न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑन दिस डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड ऑल्सो दे कैन एनरीच दर नॉलेज सो येस्टरडे ऑल्सो यू ऑल नो दैट वी हैव ऑर्गेनाइज वन वेबिनार ऑन फ्लटर दिस इज वन मोबाइल प्लेटफॉर्म development uh, development platform uh, and today also computer science and engineering department have organized uh, the webinar on introduction to cyber security and cyber attacks as uh, we all know that uh, in current scenario we all using mobile applications and uh, laptops in, uh, we are using so many applications and those applications are uh, using so many datas and they are capturing our data so how to prevent uh, uh secure how to give security for those applications and how to provide the security when we are using internet so for that we have arranged this uh, webinar and for this webinar we have uh, eminent expert mr jatin patel sir so i would like to uh, introduce uh, sir uh, sir is currently pursuing phd in uh, video forgery detection at raksha shakti university Uh, sir is currently working as an assistant professor in school of information technology and cyber security uh, i would also like to share one information that uh, sir had also worked as an assistant professor uh, in rng patel institute of technology for 3 years and uh, sir has also delivered so many expert talks at many educational sector as well as government sector on various topics relevant to the field in the cyber security like hacking phishing so i heartily welcome you sir and uh, on the behalf of uh, computer science and engineering department uh, rng patel institute of technology so over to you sir i would uh, uh, i hope that the students will get most of the benefit uh, from this uh, webinar and they will get most of the knowledge for the cyber security over to you sir thank you thank you so much bhagesh madam uh, to introduce me in a very well manner am i audible madam yes yes sir you are audible okay uh, first of all uh, those who are currently live i heartily welcome you on behalf of uh, raksha shakti university and uh, hosted by the rng patel institute i just want to introduce a small about our university our university is right now part of the gujarat government which was established in 2009 uh, with the mission and vision of our madam i am clearly audible now yes yes sir you are once i am uh, once you are getting some disturbance please uh, yes sir me. i will i will oh. let you know sir yes okay, okay. so previously the uh, university was have a very small campus at amdavad uh, mayani nagar but currently we have shifted to our uh, prime location that is situated in the gandhinagar district uh, and around 250 acre land uh, our university has been widely established mm -hmm. and uh, around uh, more than 10 schools are working in this university our main vision and mission was to establish a security internal security uh, as we all know our external security has been established by the military paramilitary and many msc commando but the thing is currently the scenario has been changed more than that uh, we need to focus on our virtual data uh, because we currently we have seen uh, around 45 to 50 50% uh, cases are coming which is relevant to the field of cyber we all know how to prevent our uh, physical data but once we are don't know how our data has been stored on our virtual uh, storage like the internet at that moment any layman cannot understand how to prevent that data so this is currently growing scenario currently uh, growing issue how to prevent our virtual data uh, to introduce such problem today uh, we will discuss some issue how to secure our personal data how we can uh, how we are facing such issue how hacking uh, has been done on the internet how hackers are doing such activities without uh, taking our access how they are uh, how they are uh, fetching our data that we are going to be discuss today okay ma'am please share my screen yes yes sir i will share your screen yes sir your ppt is visible okay. so uh, these are the uh, few agenda that uh, today we are going to be discuss uh, 
uh, why there is a cyber security is required, which are the basic category of cyber crime, which is the category of threats, uh, how to protect our virtual data, what type of precaution that we need to take up while we are using internet connectivity, and a uh, few reasons why cyber security has a bright career in the coming decade uh, that we are going to be discussed. As starting from the five years old child to the old age person, everyone is using digital era. We are all are using our mobile phone to connect for the various reasons like shopping, uh, for the gaming, for chatting and many more reasons. Continuously for that all reason, we are continuously searching our data through internet and through Google store, from the store, Google server and many other services from where we are getting the data. But the thing is, any layman or any mobile users those who are don't know about the security features, they don't know how our data has been traveled to internet, how many family nodes are there in this particular path. Uh, simply, I want to say one simple example. Once we are at home, no one can uh, theft our data. But once we are going outside of our home, anyone can have, uh, there is a possibility, and that is a possibility is increasing, so anyone can theft the data. Same thing has been implemented. Once we are uh, connecting our devices to internet, there are possibility has been increased that many many of the unethical, unethical hacker can fetch the our data can have the data and can be uh, uh, misused for some other purpose so this is the digital era in which we are currently living and we need to worry about how we can store or how we can uh, store our data in a precautional manner so over here i have shown one golden age of data exploit many of the users are using mobile laptop uh, tablets and many of the electronic devices those who are connected to the internet and many of the path has been generated and in all such internet path we all are not aware of about where is leaking where is any loophole where is the vulnerability where is the gap from any uh, unethical users can uh, have our data so these are the golden age we are creating while we are using the internet connection so once we are connecting our devices to internet, these are the possibility of threat. Maybe you are quite aware of about uh, many of the threat, like one of, one, of, one of the very common threat that is malware. Malware is nothing but any, uh, <coughs> any, any type of software, any type of uh, tools that we are going to be used that create a malicious activity in our devices without our prior permission, they can have the data. So such type of activity has been categorized as a malware. Second thing that we all know, phishing. Phishing is not, nothing but once we are searching any website which is pretend like a genuine website, but actually it is not a genuine website. They are creating minor changes in their website and they are pretending themselves as an authenticate user. But while we once we are using such type of website, we don't know how they are storing the data, how they are uh, retrieving our data, and later on that can be used for some. Uh, malicious activity uh, and can be prevented as a authenticated user. Next attack is a password attack in which uh, any unauthenticated user wants to pretend our password, wants to hack our password just like a, we all know brute force attack. They are trying multiple combination of our uh, name, age, our uh, parents name, our child names and many many of the things. Uh, and we all are used to store a single password. We are all used to uh, create a single password for different different websites. Just like the Gmail, bank, credit card, many of the things that we are using and we are generating only the, only the single password. And just because of that reason, any unauthentical user, those who are knowing about primary information, and they can create a easily password, which they are used to do. Next one attack is a DDoS attack. This dot attacks is also that maybe you all are GQ students, so maybe you have learned in the fifth semester what is DDoS attack and DOS attack. When any unauthenticated users enter into our system and they will be pretend ourselves, uh, pretending themselves as an authenticated user, and they will send multiple requests to the server, and at that uh, at that moment, even um, server cannot respond. So even those users are authenticated at that moment we they are this type of attack is known as a DOS attack. Next one is a man in the middle, middle attack in which once we are searching our data through internet connectivity, client server communication and they are fetching some vulnerability and loopholes in our path and then later on with the help of their vulnerability and loopholes they are 
trying to fetch our data and later on it can be used for some malicious activity. Next one, that's the drive by download attack in which once we are searching uh, some websites or some uh, application, once we are using some application, at that moment we don't know what type of uh, data are going to be downloaded in our drive and that downloaded data that can create some malicious activity in our, uh, uh, in our <coughs> gadgets. So that type of attacks is known as a driver attack. So I'm just uh, frankly uh, seeing you guys, once you are searching any third party application, at that moment, you should be aware of about which links are accessible, which link we should click, which uh, link should not be clicked, which type of pages we need to search. So these are the uh, some precaution that we need to take care while using some internet connectivity. Mal malvertising is similar like that attack once uh, you are clicking some uh, uh, fact, uh, website, once you are clicking on some link, at that time automatically they are downloading some files in our, in our uh, uh, laptop and mobile and later on it can be used for some malicious activity. Last one that is Roge uh, software in which it is nothing but once uh, we are downloading some application, some software to our Google Play or some uh, another sources. At that moment, we are completely unaware of that, how they are using our private data, how they are accessing our information. So I'm just requesting you whenever you are downloading any third party application or any software, at that moment, you should be aware of about that, how they are uh, accessible. We sh shouldn't click on like allow, allow and ev everything. We shouldn't click each and every time. Because uh, one of the very simple example that I want to give you, Paytm, Paytm application that we all are using for some uh, transaction. At that moment, they may have some uh, access for our uh, uh, access for our contact, but we don't know why there is a need of our gallery. Paytm is also using our gallery. Paytm is also using our private data. So once you are downloading any third party attack, you should be aware of uh, which are the number of other application that they are using. Over here, I have seen some uh, historical cyber attack globally, not only India, throughout the world is suffering one of the very growing uh, problem that is from, it, is, it was initiated from 2000, over here they have listed up to 2016, but recently even in 2019 and 2020, we have facing some cyber attack with the help of that they have fed some private information and they, are, they have the data and that can be used for some analysis activity. Uh, there should be one question in your mind. We haven't faced a such type of issue. Uh, so why uh, such type of activity has been listed in India, Canada, US and many other? Because they all hackers are not interested for our uh, private information. They are interested for some league organization where they can have some meaningful information and that can be used for some uh, um, uh, some precious uh, information that can be used for their organization. So as a layman, we are completely unaware of that, how they are facing the data, how they are hacking the data, how they are performing such activity. But once we want to know that how they are performing such activity, hacking. So these are the five phases they are uh, performing while doing the hacking. So once we want to know how hackers is going to be performed, uh, so these are the five phases I have listed over here. One of the uh, very basic step that is reconnaissance. Maybe uh, you all have learned the fifth semester uh, that is cyber security is a subject and uh, maybe you have learned the basic software like uh, NMAP, Network Mapper, uh, Wireshark uh, and many of the other, other tools that help you to fetch some information like the IP address port address and some basic information just like which are the ports are open, which are the ports are closed. But we don't know why we are searching, why we are gathering all such information. Because we are not going in deep manner why we are searching all such information. And because of that reason, we don't know uh, why we are searching such open ports, closed ports, external IP address and internal IP address. I want to just give, uh, give you one simple example. If I have to do attack at your home, I have to have some data at your home. First of all, what I have to do, I have to search the specific path from with, with the help of that I can enter into your home. So whenever I have to finalize the path at your home, I need some basic information relevant to you in which district you are staying, in which uh, particular colony, in which particular society you are staying. For these are these basic scenario we can compare with our computer system at that uh, 
we can say that once I have to attack into your system, I need some information that is relevant to the external IP address, internal IP address, and a basic port number. Second phase is scanning. Once I have searched some basic information uh, relevant to you, I have just final, uh, finalized a specific path how I can enter into your system, how can, how can I enter into your system. Later on, I have to analyze your path. I have to check the path. Once I will go to this path, which are the specific problems will occur, which are the specific loopholes are there, which are the specific vulnerabilities are there. With the help of that, I, I can easily enter into your home. With the help of that, I can easily access your data. So that particular scenario is considered as a scan. मैंने आपका जो कोई भी पाथ डिसाइड किया है उस पाथ पे हम कैसे जा सकेंगे उस पाथ पे कौन कौन सी वनरबिटी है उस पाथ पे कौन कौन सी लोकोल है विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट आई कैन इजीली फैच ऑन इट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी इज नोन एज अ स्कैनिंग मे बी यू हैव यूज्ड एन मैप नेटवर्क मैपर स्कैनर स्लीपर वनरबिटी स्कैनर वाई शॉक एंड मेनी अदर टूल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट वी आर गेटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक व्हिच आर द आईपी एड्रेस वी आर यूजिंग व्हिच आर द स्पेसिफिक सबनेट वी आर यूजिंग व्हिच आर द नंबर ऑफ पोर्ट वी आर यूजिंग any layman are knowing just about usb port hdmi port any other port but as as a, as a student of computer science and engineering field we know that total 65535 ports are there in our system once we are connecting our system to the internet connectivity so hacker are just seeking any information that can help them to prepare attacks such as computer name ip address and these are the basic details that they are searching with the help of this first two terms that is scanning and reconnaissance Now the third step that is gaining the access. Once hacker are knowing uh, meaningful information uh, relevant to us, now the next task they have to uh, gain the access of our system. Once they are able to enter into our system, now they can do any type of activity which they want. Simply be considered gaining access is nothing but hacker. Entering into our entering into our system now they can be pretend our self as a uh, our own self. So simply we all are knowing that DDoS attack is going to be performed. DDoS attack are never performed without entering into someone's system. So suppose के ऐसे हैकर मुझे कोई DDoS या DDoS attack मुझे perform करना है तो पहले मुझे जो भी authenticated user है जितने भी user से उसके system में मुझे enter होना है उसके system का मुझे access देना है then only i can perform some uh, request to our server otherwise without gaining access of someone uh, gadget someone laptop i cannot perform some request or response uh, to the uh, server and the session hijacking the session hijacking is nothing but whatever activity i am going to be perform that can be or easily detect that can be easily analyzed by some hacker so this is the third phase once i have to pretend myself as a hacker now the next step that is maintaining access fourth step so five steps are there fourth one that is maintaining access in this access once i have entered into your system but as we are as we all are knowing that uh, there are already some security mechanism has been established in our system who can easily change some modification and with the help of that may be possible uh, later on i cannot access the system but once i am in your system i need to specify some another path i have to specify some backdoor where if if one path is going to be closed i need to search another another uh, way with the help of that i can maintain my constant access in your system so this is the four path i have to search different different vulnerability i have to search different different doors different different root kit with the help of that if one path is going to be closed i can easily uh, maintain the access to the different different path Now the final path covering the track. मुझे आपके सिस्टम में से जो कुछ भी डेटा लेना था वो मैंने डेटा ले लिया जो कुछ भी मुझे डेटा आपके सिस्टम में से था तो दबा था डेटा आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग नेक्स्ट टास्क दैट इज वंस आई हैव टू कंप्लीट माय ऑल द ऑपरेशन आई हैव टू क्लियर आई हैव टू रिमूव द माय ट्रैक with the help of दैट एनी सिक्योरिटी पर्सनल कैन नॉट डिटेक्ट दैट हु हैज हैक माय डेटा हु हैज हैक समवन सिस्टम so we can simply say that ki mujhe jab mera as a hacker jab bhi mera kaam khatam hota hai to mujhe maine jo path clear kiya tha jis path ke through main ja raha tha kisi ke system ke andar to wo path mujhe clear karna hai so that i am going to be clear over here that is the last one that is clearing track 
So any security make, uh, any security expert cannot detect who has performed some malicious activity into this system. So these are the five pages that I have covered over here. So over here we have seen how hacker is how hacker is performing some malicious activity in our system. We have seen how they are performing some activity with the help of that, how they are entering into our system, how they are prepared, pretending themselves into our pretending themselves as an authenticated user into our system. So once we have to analyze the overall scenario, overall the way how hacker are performing, we have to pretend ourselves as a hacker. Once हम हमारी जात को खुद एज ए हैकर की जगह पे रखेंगे वो कैसे एक्टिविटी कर रहे हैं एक्टिविटी बट वी ऑल्सो नो दैट दिज ऑल प्रोसेस इज कम्प्लीटली डायनेमिक इट इज नॉट सिंगल वे विदेल्प ऑफ देर परफॉर्मिंग सच मेलिस एक्टिविटी एवरी टाइम हैकर आर डूइंग such activity they are changing the path they are changing the mechanism they are changing the way to hack your data to enter into your system so it's a completely dynamic process so we should uh, take some precaution precautionary manner with the help of that we can establish some security mechanism so with the help of that we can uh, save our private data one of the very basic tools whatsapp security uh, first of all i want to say that uh, it's not for only whatsapp whenever we are downloading any third party application just like whatsapp or instagram or facebook these all are third party application it's not established by our government or any other uh, government sector so once we are downloading whatsapp or any other application we should first read the terms and condition which they have established okay never download the file sent by unknown person but normally hame kya kya koi bhi file whatsapp or whatsapp mein audio file ho video file ho ya koi bhi file ho ऑटोमेटिकली वो डाउनलोड हो जाती है बट नो हाउ दे आर परफॉर्म सम एक्टिविटी इन अवर सिस्टम सो आई एम जस्ट सिंपली रिक्वेस्टिंग यू ऑल यू शुड नॉट अलाउ टू डाउनलोड ईच एंड एवरी फाइल डोंट यू हैव रजिस्टरिंग ऑन योर सिस्टम मे बी पॉसिबल एनी अननोन पर्सन ट्राई टू सेंड सम फाइल इन योर सिस्टम एंड इफ इट इज गोइंग टू बी डाउनलोड इन योर सिस्टम दैट कैन फ्री दैट कैन फेच सम प्राइवेट इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टोरेड इन योर सिस्टम क्योंकि हम ऑलरेडी यूज टू है जो भी हमारी पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन है जस्ट लाइक बैंकिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन हो बैंकिंग क्रेडिट कार्ड डिटेल हो उसके पासवर्ड हो उसके पिन नंबर हो दैट वी ऑल आर स्टोरिंग इन अवर सिस्टम सो वंस सच टाइप ऑफ फाइल इज गोइंग टू बी डाउनलोड एंड इट कैन फैच सम टाइप ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विच वी आर नॉट विच वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू शेयर विथ एनी अन नॉन पर्सन दैट मे बी पॉसिबल इट इज गोइंग टू बी शेयर विद दैट पर्टिकुलर फाइल नेवर सेंड पर्सनल और बैंक डिटेल्स थ्रू एनी थर्ड पार्टी दैट आई ऑलरेडी स्टेट जो भी हमारी पर्सनल डिटेल है जस्ट लाइक अवर पर्सनल फोटो पर्सनल आइडेंटिटी पर्सनल टाइम डिटेल वी शुडेंट शेयर विद एनी थर्ड पार्टी नॉट ओनली अवर व्हाट्सएप बट अभी एक रिसेंटली मैंने देखा था एक फ्रेंड आया था सारी डे सेल्फी डे लाइक स्माइली डे वी ऑल आर यूज टू सेंड अवर पिक्चर टू व्हाट्सएप टू फेसबुक एंड मेनी अदर थर्ड पार्टी एप्लीकेशन आई वॉन्ट टू से सिंपली दैट there are so many tools and techniques are available in which anyone can easily modify your uh, photo it can be converted into nod image pornography that we already know that it's a currently growing scenario currently growing cyber attack so i simply requesting you all those who are girls candidate specifically don't say your personal image through whatsapp facebook or any other application those who can easily convert it into some another format and that can be uh, very dangerous for you in the future uh, next one that is never respond to unknown number because you don't know who how they will pretend uh, uh, how they will use your personal data next one the activity of whatsapp while using the phone you never use public wifi because we don't know what type of security security mechanism has been established established in the public wifi there is no particular security they are using second privacy of our profile we don't know uh, how our personal information just like a photo of our uh, photo and our identity has been used by some another user those who can easily uh, search the your number and can, can easily detect your data next one never many times even i have also done uh, such mistake that is log out from whatsapp we are using our whatsapp in our laptop 
but don't know uh, sometime we are forgetting to log out the system and maybe possible in future if any unknown person we can in our system it can be easily use that uh, uh, with whatsapp last one there is two factor of that authentication that is common for each and every one not for only whatsapp that we can be how to establish man for a uh, two factor for gmail whatsapp facebook and any other third party application next one that is be aware of job offer for email now we are in the final stage to prove ourselves to show our capability uh, we we all are searching the job so whenever we are getting some offer we are offering such uh, job it this this package this mnc company we are uh, providing uh, such job offer to you uh, just you have to pass through some nominal uh, formality just like you have to uh, face some interview through email you don't need to come at personally many many um, we can say that uh, ac jahrat jo dete hai ac publicity dete hai ki uh, you have to just pay some minor uh, fees like you have to uh, just uh, sign the formality just for the uh, security deposit that you have to submit and later on you may find that this is not for you it is just a fake so i am just simply requesting you all don't go through the uh, job offer those who are getting for email because many time we cannot uh, easily identify this job offer is really a uh, reality in our in a fact so fraudress gets uh, amount deposited in various places bank account e wallet immediately withdraw the amount by cheating the victim uh this is not for you student guys but it is just a common fraud many of the uh, cases we have seen that they are giving the loan with uh, low rate interest and some fake certificate just like a section letter a section letter to the party and they are saying that you have to deposit some certain amount just for the formality like registration access and advocate fee and you have to pay some nominal uh, fees like 2000 4000 it's nominal for us but maybe possible this nominal fee that they have getting from more than 1000 users so this all type of uh, cyber attack that currently going don't believe uh, on advertisement of finance companies i have said Saying that, saying that they will section loan with a loan interest. This is a very important slide for you guys because we all are used to do shopping from online. We are using various application just like uh, Flipkart, Amazon, uh, Shopclos, many of the things. I want to just share my personal experience with you. Uh, Diwali of 2018, one of my uncle has ordered a uh, few things from the हाइपर मार्केट करके एक एप्लीकेशन आया था हाइपर मार्केट करके एक इवन न्यूज पेपर जो दिव्य भास्कर गुजरात समाचार उसमें एक बड़े पेज पर उन्होंने जाहरात दी थी कि आप जो कोई भी सामान परचेस कर रहे हो उसका आपको हाफ रेट में पे करना है एज ए एग्जाम्पल सपोज क्या फाइव थाउजेंड के कुछ परचेस कर रहे हो तो आपको सिर्फ ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड ही पे करना है उन्होंने फाइव थाउजेंड सामान कुछ ऑर्डर किया था टेन टेन थाउजेंड का और उन्होंने पे किया फाइव थाउजेंड उसके बाद उसको एक भी चीज़ अभी तक नहीं मिली was around 2 to 3 years so i am just requesting you whenever you are purchasing some goods so online it's not a it's not a bad habit but we need to check some authenticity of that particular website some from where we are going to be purchasing for one of the very basic thing that you already know that we should uh, update our os uh, in a regular interval uh, we should add some security mechanism uh, just like a, a, our antivirus that we need to install so so if any an authentic application try, try to search the data that can be easily blocked by our uh, <coughs> that can be easily blocked by our antivirus second thing don't save your payment details after finishing your online shopping you should clear all the web browser quickly then turn off your system second thing check the security aspect of the website whenever we are searching any particular website we need to check two things on a particular url for first that is padlock and second the second thing that is https We, uh, uh, as a student of computer engineering, we are knowing the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. So HTTPS is secure protocol. And uh, second thing, paid log. Uh, paid log is nothing but once we are searching our data, once we are transferring our bank details and anything that is going to be transferred into the encrypted mode. जो भी हमने हमारी bank detail, जो भी हमारी credit card और bank debit card की details हम जो transfer कर रहे हैं, जो genuine website है. वहाँ पे अभी अभी हम ट्रांसफर कर रहे थे दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन सोर्स टू अनदर सोर्स इन अ इंक्रिप्टेड मोड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट चेक टू थिंग्स दैट इज एसटीपीएस एंड सेकंड दैट इज 
page log. Page log is nothing but one login symbol showing in, in your URL. Uh, change password frequently that we all know because a brute force attack can easily crack your password. Many of the tools are openly available. Uh, and even some tools are available who can easily uh, generate your password with, with a different, different communication. Beware of phishing mail that I already introduced you. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, check the generality of email. The email which you are getting that is uh, okay or not, that is uh, fake or not, that we need to uh, check. We can simply say that some email like they are saying that confirm your payment, purchase and account details. So once we are uh, getting some email which they are uh, giving a force to you, they are forcing you to add some banking details, add some personal information, don't go through that particular uh, email. By using credit card and debit card, always keep an eye how the vendors swipe your card. Many times it has happened, you are giving your cards to your vendor to uh, make the payment. They are also swapping that card for some another purpose uh, in another machine. And they are just storing your 16 digit uh, card and 3 digits with the number. Uh, I want to just simply say that uh, in India there is no issue because we all know that. Whenever we are uh, doing any uh, online transaction uh, through banking, through debit card, through internet banking, always OTP has been generated. And once we are sharing our OTP, one time password uh, with the system, then only the payment has been confirmed. But I frankly speaking, guys, once that information, I have the 16 digit number and 3 digit CVV number, uh, 16 digit your debit card number or credit card number, and 3 digit your CVV number, I can do any. Am I audible, madam? Hello? Sir, you are audible. Okay. Uh, once we are using, uh, once I have a second digit number and three digit CVP number, I can easily do any international transaction. As an example, once we are paying the fee uh, for the best, many of the, uh, many, uh, many, many of the students are very familiar with the international world education services. Then, where you have to submit your data. Uh, they can be easily uh, doing the transaction without any OTP from you. So these are the few requests. Change the pin number on regular interval. Don't hand over the cards to anyone, even if he or she claims or is represent your bank. Next thing is online scam. Bank will never ask for personal credential via email. So don't give such your personal information. This Now uh, one thing I want to clear there. Many of the suggestions are similar for email security, for your social engineering, for the email, many of the things, they will be common. So don't click on the link that you receive for email. Be aware of spoof interview. When you are getting the, like uh, you are getting some discount coupon, you will uh, open this account, we will send some amount to you, we will uh, doing some financial transaction. Don't go to such activity. Once you are getting job offer for email, once you are getting some lottery scam, some once you are getting a job offer, many of the things. So beware of lottery scam. It will ask you to pay for claiming your uh, winning amount and many of the things. How to avoid social engineering? That I already said. Many of the things are very common over here. Also, they are mentioned. Check for the spelling mistake in the URL. Uh, simply, I want to say that uh, once you will refer the uh, City Bank uh, or as a Bank of India. Uh, when there is a O has been replaced by zero, when S has been replaced by five, minor changes are there. We cannot easily justify the uh, URL which they are giving. Many of the time, the URL starting from the digit number. If it could be bank name, if it could be authenticate uh, URL name, which zero number se ya, koi bhi digit se start ho hai. So the thing is, whenever you are searching any particular website, you should be aware of all such things. Second. Take advantages of spam filter in email and anti uh, phishing uh, features of the web browser. Never talk about the sensitive information in public places. Someone may overhead your data. Our Gujarati ne kehwa the ki diwaro ko bhi kaan hoti hai. Diwaro ko bhi kaan hoti hai. So whenever you are uh, talking any suspicious, ama um, uh, suspicious information about your personal, don't go through that one. Otherwise, that may be harmful for you. Uh, last one that is email security. Uh, avoid filling form for email link which asks for personal information. Never open attachment with double file extension. 
normally we all are know, knowing that uh, whenever they are receiving any particular file they have, may have a single extension dot doc dot dmp dot ex or something like that but some malicious tools malicious uh, file they have been uh, used with a double extension so whenever you are getting such type of file those who are stored with double extension don't go to that one use strong and easy uh, uh, to rem uh, strong and easy to remember password or pick a phrases Many of the things that they have mentioned. Later on, I will share this specific with you guys, so you may easily go through this one. Now, once we are done, we also expect that no one can hack our personal data or no one can hack our private private information. Even as a user of internet, we have also uh, follow some rules and regulation defined as an internet agent. We should never use computer to harm other people. Once we will not do such activity, we can expect that any other uh, any other user cannot do such activity. But once we are once we are starting to doing such type of activity, we cannot claim anyone. We cannot do uh, uh, we cannot claim that, and no one will try to patch our data. Second thing, do not keep around into others' computer files. We should not uh, if we are getting some open computer, we should uh, do some full activity in your system. Never computer to search information. We have to create a secret password. We have to change our password on a daily basis in a specific interval. Password are like a shock. We have to change in a regular manner. So these are some tricks and tips that we need to follow while using the internet connectivity. Now these are some news. These are the that that we are regularly getting in our newspaper. Over here I have attached some screenshot of our Ahmedabad. Uh, right now I am in Ahmedabad, so I have just copied this all screenshot from Ahmedabad front page. Uh, you may also get all such type of uh, news in uh, Surat city also. So uh, these are the uh, some uh, these are the some uh, basic tricks while using ATM slot, while using some uh, net banking uh, application, while using some mobile application. Uh, once we are getting some, uh, once we are getting some email, once we are getting some offer. So these are some precaution that we need to take out. Due to a short of time, I'm just running fast, right? Because it's already 11:37. Now, one of the very growing in our cyber crime that is pornography. I want to uh, play this audio. If it will be visible, if it will be audible, uh, I want to show one. Sir, actually, voice is not there for video. Sir, sir, voice is not there for the video. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So I'm just keeping this video. Yes. Sir. Uh -huh. So you can share us, then we'll share to students also this video. Okay. No otherwise, no. everything is okay. Yes, yes, sir. Otherwise, everything is okay. Okay, I want to describe this video. Over here, this is the scenario of Delhi when uh, maybe you all are using Instagram. There is a one specific group which is known as a boys locker room. It's like that there are many children who have been in the house and have been in the house and have been in the house and have been in the house. So it's a group that is already on Instagram. But it was not reported as a crime because no one has made any complaint. So there are some rules and regulations defined by our government. कि जब तक आपकी भी कोई आपके जो भी आप activity कर रहे हैं उसको claim नहीं कर रहा उसको कोई crime report नहीं कर रहा तब तक उनको तब तक उनको report नहीं किया जा सकता है। तो उसमें से कई girls ने ये group के बारे में report किया। तो उसके बाद दिल्ली government ने high court में दिल्ली high court में ये report हुआ कि इसे known as cyber crime। No one can access someone's private information. और अभी जो एक्टिविटी चल रही है कि वो जो ब्लीड है वो पूरे पालामा में भी पास हुआ और सच टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी कैन नॉट बी परफॉर्म बाय एनी मेडिस एनी एनी टाइप ऑफ यूजर सो आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग यू ऑल द स्टूडेंट एंड वो जो आर करंटली लाइव वाचिंग दिस वेबिनार सो इवन मेनी पोर्नोग्राफी एप्लीकेशंस आर देयर they are uh, once we are logging into it, they are storing some uh, basic information 
and that later on can be misused by some other person. Now, next thing I want to discuss with you why cyber security has a bright career. Many of we, uh, as a student of computer engineering, we all are knowing that there are different different types of uh, scenario or that uh, area that like artificial intelligence, chatbot, machine learning, cloud computing, cryptocurrency, big data, Internet of Things, deep learning, blockchain, and uh, robot assistance. These all are the age from we can pick up. As a, there we can prove ourselves as a computer engineering, as a computer expert. But behind that, we all know that these all fill artificial intelligence, or machine learning, or cloud computing, or big data, or कोई भी हो. तो सभी में जो data transfer होता है, वो data की security we require. So there is not a single a single age from there is a security is not required. Internet of things or deep learning or कोई भी हो. The everyone there is a need of security of data. Second thing, many of you have maybe uh, go through the IELTS examination and near future after completion of the graduation. So I want to just introduce you. This is the slide uh, where cyber crime is not uh, performing in India. It is a worldwide scenario. It is a worldwide problem. So once you travel to the different different country, like over here, I have mentioned only two things: United States of America, United Kingdom, Japan, Russia. I forget to mention the Canada because most of the students are. Uh, Uh, are going in towards Canada. Are going towards Canada. So even each and every country wants some cyber security experts, some uh, private sector, government sector, each and every one. Because we all know that each and every organization are transferring their data to the uh, internet connectivity, and they all want some security for their private data. Second thing, working for the greater good. Once you have some capability, uh, capability. Need you to uh, prevent a virtual data. You are getting some high amount of respect because any layman cannot uh, know how our data has been traveled through internet. And once you are knowing such type of uh, capability to prepare, uh, to uh, uh, once you are knowing the capability to secure someone uh, mm -hmm. virtual data, you are getting some high amount of uh, respect. Second thing. Maths is a just for the kidding. I have just put uh, put it this slide over here. Many of the students are weak in maths, so they are <laughs> worry about the uh, their career in the, after completion the graduation. I want I am frankly speaking that in the field of cyber security there is no need of maths. So you may go through that path one. You can uh, uh, go through the cyber security expert. There is no need of maths if you don't know the maths in a perfect manner. Second question that may be come in your mind. Once I have completed my education in the field of cyber security, is there any possibility of government job? Because we all are sitting right now, government job. Uh, one of the very uh, simple example that I want to share is one of my student, Narendra Chai. Currently, he uh, previously he was my uh, student in MTech in cyber security. Right now, he has joined National Security Force in uh, Delhi. Current package, one point five lakh per month, starting pay. But the thing is, uh, we have to prove ourselves as a cyber security expert. We have to uh, prove some extraordinary mechanism. We have to prove our knowledge in that uh, scenario. Then only we can get some job. So over here, I have listed some of the government organization where there is a possibility you may get some uh, job as a cyber security expert. That is, National Security Agency, Mossad, Central uh, Intelligence Agency, Military Intelligence Sections, and many more the things where we can uh, prove ourselves as a government. Agent. Even in the last slide, I will show you. Even in Gujarat, there is a need of cyber security expert. I will show you. Second thing, I will be using the private sorry, our data so that the government as a well, private sector wants you. So there is a possibility for the private job even. So secondly, the, as I already said that, अभी तक जो कोई भी security mechanism implement हुई है as a part of government sector or as a part of private sector. जो कोई भी अटैक हुआ उसके बाद वो अटैक को सिक्योर uh, कैसे करना है वो शायद का अटैक फीचर में ना हो वो मेकेनिज्म हमने इम्प्लीमेंट किए बट वी डोंट नो व्हाट टाइप ऑफ अदर सिक्योरिटी अटैक्स विल कम इन द नियर फ्यूचर सो इट इज अ कम्प्लीटली डायनेमिक प्रोसेस इट्स अ कम्प्लीटली चेंजिंग सिनारियो एवरी एवरी वन दोज हु कैन फाइंड आउट सम लू फॉल इन अवर सिस्टम दे कैन बी प्रूव हिम और हर सेल्फ एज सैबर सिक्योरिटी एक्सपर्ट So simply over here, we don't need to do anything. We have to just find out some which is useful variability in our 
uh, virtual scenario or computer network once you are knowing such thing you can easily prove yourself as a cyber security expert money makes the world go around normally we all are doing all such activities just for the money not for any other thing so once you are getting such job as a cyber security expert you are getting handsome salary this is for my uh, scenario so here i have just uh, shown one recently a paper that this is 6 march 2010 गुजरात ना तमाम जिलाओं ने साइबर पुलिस स्टेशन भी सर्च करा वी वी आर रनिंग अ पुलिस यूनिवर्सिटी सो वी आर ऑल्सो शोइंग सच टाइप ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट फॉर आवर आवर सेल्फ सो वी ऑल नोइंग दैट देयर आर सो मेनी साइबर क्राइम हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन आवर पुलिस स्टेशन एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स बट ऑलरेडी स्टाफ जो ऑलरेडी अभी वर्क कर रहा है वी ऑल डोंट नो हाउ टू डील विद ऑल सच टाइप ऑफ साइबर क्राइम ऑल सच टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी सो जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ that reason recently gujarat government has decided uh, they will recruit some cyber security expert those who are already uh, those who have some expertise in this field and many of our student has already working in this sector the sector even police sector in many other things so these are the things that i have listed over here thank you so much guys so as per the time limit so sharp at 11:45 i have just completed my session over here thank you guys now it's open for our question and answer Yes, sir, you are audible. Sir, please uh, just just stop your sh screen sharing so that uh, we can now have a question answer with you because uh, so many students have so many questions. And hello, sir, can you hear me? Hello, ma'am. Hi. Yes, sir, you are audible. Can you hear me? Sir, can you hear me? Due to time limit, today I have just ended my session. Even uh, one of the current scenario that is fake. अभी जो problem चल रहा है, news हमारे WhatsApp पे, Facebook पे. Ah. Uh, sir has just been disconnected. Just. Uh, It will take two minutes. Yes, sir, it's back with. Sir, so can you hear me? Okay, I'm audible. Yes, sir, yes. you are audible. Yes, can you hear me, sir, so that we can have a question answer? Okay. Yes, yes, I'm uh, audible. Yes, sir. Uh, one, one minute only. One minute. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will say uh, uh, right now we are getting so many news. Uh, so WhatsApp uh, and so many other uh, social media things. But the thing is, the layman can not easily just find the news which we are getting is a type of thing. So uh, later on, once we are getting such things, uh, I will uh, give you some trick how to identify the news which we are getting is authenticate or not. So yes, later in the next session, I will explain you how the fake yes, has been identified through our any yes, layman. Thank yes, you, ma'am. Yes, definitely. Uh, sir, uh, we have some questions for from the students. That uh, sir, recently we know that uh, there are uh, uh, there is a big problem that is ransomware. So ransomware attack yes. is a uh, very trending. So uh, while installing this kind of uh, thing, and uh, uh, students means uh, the user can get the message, and uh, they have a message that uh, some uh, encrypt your entire data and put the note that if you want to recover your data, then pay this much dollar and that. So how can uh, you can how you can prevent right. this kind of ransomware uh, if it is already affected? Not uh, it is not a preventing side, but how if the attack has been performed, then how we can uh, uh, pre uh, how we can prevent them or how we can deal with the ransomware? So that is the question from students. Right, right. Uh, first of all, I want to say that once ransomware attack has been performed in a system, no one any no one else can decrypt your data. So yes. Those who have yes. performed the attack, they can only decrypt the data. No one, any else, cyber security expert can also decrypt your data. So there is no any possibility to decrypt that data. But once we are get, uh, sir has again just disconnected. Uh, just wait for one minute so that uh, we can have uh, uh, chat with sir. So I also want to answer some questions from the students that uh, some of yes sir has uh, connected again. So, 
सर कैन यू हियर मी यस 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 सर यू आर ऑडिबल यस सॉरी फॉर द इंटर ओके ओके इट्स ओके सर एज आई से वी वी आर नॉट कैपेबल इनफ टू डिक्रीप द आवर ओन डेटा बट वंस वी आर गेटिंग सच टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी ऑन आवर सिस्टम वंस आवर डेटा हैज बीन एनक्रिप्टेड बाय एनी अटैकर वी शुड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिपोर्ट टू आवर साइबर साइबर सेल नॉर्मली वी ऑल आर नोइंग दैट साइबर सेल इज ऑलरेडी वर्किंग इन सूरत सिटी इन अहमदाबाद गांधीनगर एंड मेनी अदर मेगा सिटी so once we are getting such type of activity in our system we should first of all report such type uh, report the cyber crime because later on the thing is who has performed such a type of attack that can be tracked we are not capable to decrypt the data but we can track the original source from where our data has been hacked from where our data has been uh, corrupted and we shouldn't pay the amount whatever they have requested and yes. i am also requesting you one more thing as a precaution side we should uh, take some backup just for the precaution man okay but that is very clear we are not capable enough okay. our system is not capable enough to what extraordinary mechanism they are uh, doing to encrypt our data yeah those yes, mechanism those they have already introduced in our past that can be decrypted but near future so jo bhi future mein jo bhi the encryption method jo log use karenge it is possible yes. that we are not capable enough to decrypt that data अवेलेबल where original number original number from where i am calling it is not going to be visible to you i have to just uh, we can simply say that this technography yes sir so technography is Stegnography. nothing but a same technique they are implementing in this phone calling speech uh, spoofing they are yes. uh, they are just showing some another number and actually they are calling from some another country so that type of uh, technography uh, mechanism has been implemented uh, through this technique yes sir uh sir another question one is that uh, uh, sir uh, in our syllabus uh, in fifth sem cyber security has been offered and mostly uh, from all the students from all the branch have taken this subject so sir uh, uh, we have learned i am also teaching the cyber security so we have learned one tool called nmap network yes. mapper tool so in that only we are doing port scanning and ip scanning and all this thing so one student uh, is asking about nmap that uh, how it can build the cyber security other than port scanning and uh, other than uh, we can say ip scanning yes, which are the other yes yes sir. yes sir yes sir that is why i have uh, visible this question uh, yes. very critical question is that nmap <laughs> is used for the both the purpose hacking as well as cracking okay once i have to pretend once i have to secure my uh, my system i have to know that which are the vulnerability on my system so for yes. that purpose we are using nmap nmap yes. showing the ip address in which we are in which particular subject we are connecting it is yes. also showing which are the ports are open which are the ports are filtered which are the ports are closed this yes. is the only two version use we are doing okay port scanning and uh, just for the ip address that we are knowing yes. this is only just yes. To, which to are the weakest weakest port are that that we are scanning that uh, which yeah. are the weakest point of the system yeah so even uh, once we, uh, so many other tools are also there just like a uh, wire shack is there a trace route are also there they are yes, just sir. providing such type of information to this path how many number of intermediate node are there so they are so we i am searching the google or any the particular server so okay. with the help of that we can just able to know that these are the ports are open open port is nothing but from where any unauthenticated user can enter in the our system so these are yes. the open port is our vulnerability simply we can see so okay. uh, once we are getting the port which are open we have to justify these are ports are usable for us otherwise we need to close that okay okay so, there are some uh, specific uh, uh, script are there with the help of that we can close the particular port which we are not going to use another okay. thing is uh, and maybe use for the scripting language Okay. Maybe, uh, yes, maybe uh, the student those who are in computer field yes, know what is scripting yes. language. Sir, other than that also because all of them are using NMAP tool. So many students right. from other branches also they are also aware about NMAP tool. That is yes, why I have. Uh, 
when i was a part of rng pit i used yes, to sir. conduct this subject every three yes, months sir. yes sir uh, so and uh, map ki uh, and map ke sath jo scripting language use ho rahi hai scripting language ye ki use ho rahi hai ki specifically jo bhi vulnerability hamare system mein hai wo vulnerability ko identify kaise karni hai aur wo vulnerability ko once they are just providing the information which are the vulnerability with your system okay. they are not giving information how to uh, secure your data okay so हमारे सिस्टम के अंदर जितने भी लूप होल्स है दैट कैन बी इजीली आइडेंटिफाई विद द हेल्प ऑफ नेट एंड मैप एंड मैप इज नथिंग बट अ नेटवर्क मैपर सो नेटवर्क मैपर विल गिव विद अ ब्रीफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट हाउ योर नेटवर्क इज गोइंग टू बी वर्क ओके यू शुड इंप्लीमेंटेड सम अनदर टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट यू कैन प्रिवेंट योर ओपन पोर्ट और वल्नरेबिलिटी और लूप होल और एनी ब्रीचेस इन योर सिस्टम यस 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 सर अनदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जयेश मुंगारा uh can you please explain uh, the working examination uh, while you are giving for a government secret agency so sir if you can uh, do for him also so jaisis like jaisis sai asay ask ye puch raha hai ki mujhe specifically government sector which are the examination yes okay uh when i am giving you one of the simple example this uh, uh, one of my student has already appeared into this such type of activity Yes. normally they are advertising uh, some posting so uh, to uh, some uh, to their own website and they are conducting some face to face interview they are not never conducting uh, work virtual interview they are not never conducting uh, some uh, skype or another uh, uh, webinar to interview and uh, they are they want they are analyzing the skill which you have through some specific experiment through the tools and technique maybe yes. in our organization we don't have such type of tools just like uh, metasploit uh, uh, and many many type of tools are there they are not easily purchased by any particular organization the amount of uh, the the amount of that particular uh, tools is in a terms of sir i think he like, okay. sir i think he is uh, asking about which are the examinations means uh, entrance test or there for government secret agency so if you know yes right Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, they are conducting the same examination that uh, normally any type of private as well as government sectors they are doing. First of all, okay. they are conducting uh, written test. Then they are okay. going to the some personal interview. Same process. To be normal. Okay. Maybe organization who they say interview conduct the same process they are conducting. But the thing yes. is, the examiner, the evaluator, who are sitting there, they all are yes, kind of cyber security expert, and they are yes. getting the uh, how to evaluate the uh, the skill of you have. Yes, yes, sir. So once uh, suppose ki uh, one of the very simple example that I am giving you. Suppose ki I have vulnerability assessment tools ke saath hi kam karna hai. So hmm. I should have some idea about Metasploit, vulnerability scanner, and many other tools. Those who are working in this uh, scenario. Yes. And they are giving the practical exam even. Yes, to sir. To test your knowledge in. in okay. Sense. Practical exam will be also there for the selection. Yeah, right. Okay. Ah, uh, sir, uh, another two, question. Two, two, yes. Two, 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 ओके थ्री और फोर फेजेस आर देयर टू गेट इन टू द गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर और सर अनदर क्वेश्चन इज दैट इज अ सी एच सर्टिफिकेट रियली मैंडेटरी फॉर अ जॉब आफ्टर बी सी एस सी सी एच इज आई थिंक अ सर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ एथिकल एथिकल हैकर या यस वी आर रनिंग दिस विद द सी एच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सर सर्टिफाइड एथिकल हैकर इज नॉट अ कंपलसरी फॉर गेटिंग द जॉब आफ्टर बी इन द सी एस सी सर्टिफाइड एथिकल हैकर इज जस्ट गिविंग यू द सर्टिफिकेट that you are knowing the skill and technique how to deal with some security related to but it's okay. not compulsory because okay. many of the organization many of the government sector even they are uh, giving the opportunity for the job once you okay. don't have ca certificate yes okay. many other certificate they are they are ec counseling are uh, running such type of certificate okay ec okay. council is handling such ca certificate okay and so one last question is that uh, what is the difference between developer and hacker that is also come from the student that question is also <laughs> come from i right. know that it is very basic question but uh, they have this question developer from, has has idea about uh, programming language while yes. a hacker is they don't have any programming language but they have some capability they have some ability to okay. find out some loophole and vulnerability in our system then they okay. can be work as a uh, ethical hacker or cyber security expert and the developer okay. we all know that they have to deal with java c c c programming language okay. if you don't have uh, i am just frankly telling you guys 
if you don't have any knowledge about programming language if you are getting some difficulty in programming language no need to worry cyber security field is open for you <laughs> even there is okay. no concern of maths so you okay. are heartily welcome and uh, <laughs> even the, our university is running uh, post graduation courses which is okay. in the field of cyber security we are running amtech in cyber security secondly post graduation diploma in cyber security and cyber forensics msc okay. in cyber security and uh, recently our university is going to be known as a part of central government recently okay. we are a part of gujarat government but uh, within a few months we will be okay. as a part of central government so okay. few other courses we are also offering in the next academic session so uh, you all are heartily welcome in our university those who are interested in the field of cyber security yes thank yes you. okay thank you so much sir i hope that uh, we have covered almost all the questions uh, from the students and uh, sir so many thank you for you also because uh, from the our faculties and from our students for this uh, informative session uh, you can see in the comment box also yeah, I'm, I'm yes sir. yes sir it is visible Actually, for you you should be thankful to me because it's uh, just like my part of duty recently okay. i have uh, yes you already know that i was a part of uh, rng pit for more than four four years yes so sir you yes. all are just like my family member feel free yes, to contact sir. me anytime anywhere wherever you are facing any difficulty in the field of okay. cyber security even Thank our you. institute our organization has many tools and techniques are available through okay. which we can uh, handle such type of cases even we are okay. also handling some government cases uh, and even private cases we are also handling okay. 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 Thank you so much, sir. So I would like to thank you, sir, uh, Jatin, sir, for uh, your valuable time and knowledge that you have shared with us. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, the management of RNGPIT and principal, sir, Dr. Latesh B. Chaudhary, sir, for giving support to organize the wonderful webinar. And uh, I would also like to thank our head of the department, Dr. Madhvi B. Desai, ma'am. for continuous support for webinar and also like to thank our department faculties and students who have uh, joined us in this webinar so i hope that uh, all of you have enjoyed this session and uh, uh, here we are ending this session i hope that uh, all of you have get most of from this session so thank you so much sir uh, sir would you like to add something Uh, thank you. Uh, once I want to say thanks to whole organization RNGPIT, uh, Dr. Madhvi Madam, Dr. Latesh Chaudhary sir, those who are giving me as a, uh, those who are calling me as an expert in this uh, webinar. Thank you so much, all of you. And uh, uh, in near future, whenever I, I get such chance, I am ready to deliver such session with our organization. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you. Okay, here uh, we are ending this session. Uh, everyone, uh, stay home, stay safe.